dear students welcome to your pedia today i am going to discuss one of the famous common mostly asked interview question that is what is loading effect you take any interview any technical interview for electrical electronics and instrumentation students okay electrical electronic and instrumentation students this is the most commonly asked question what is loading effect let's understand what is loading effect in depth so you must be in a position to explain this one carefully with the examples to the interviewer then definitely interviewer will be impressed with your explanation let's enter into our explanation ma what is loading effect i will explain this one by taking one example circuit okay i am taking one simple circuit yes i am taking one simple circuit yes dc voltage source and two resistances in series i'll call this one as r1 i'll call this one as r2 where r1 is equal to let's take it as 2 ohms r2 take it as 6 ohms okay and the input what we are giving is 8 volts dc 8 volts dc now the question is now the question is if i ask you what is the voltage across r2 what is the voltage across r2 then immediately what you will do is v r2 is equal to input voltage is 8 into 6 by 6 plus 2 6 by 6 plus 2 so this is uh, output voltage is equal to input voltage into output impedance by total impedance okay then you are going to get 6 volts this is a simple answer and anyone anyone can give the answer but now if i ask you to measure the voltage across this one then what you are going to do you are going to put a meter pmmc meter pmmc voltmeter in fact yes so if i ask you to measure the voltage not to calculate now we calculated it now we calculated it if i ask you to measure the voltage across this one we are going to put a, a voltmeter yes a pmmc voltmeter yes we are keeping now here there are two points there are two points see if you take the circuit without this meter without this meter there is no meter if you look at the source how much is the impedance offered by the circuit to the source my question is clear see this is the source who is driving this entire circuit source how much is how much is the impedance offered by the circuit to the source without this meter is uh, 8 ohms see you stand in the place of source you stand in the place of source i can say here yes you stand in the place of source and observe the impedance from here remove this voltage source and without this meter i am asking without this meter i am asking then how much is the impedance or resistance 2 plus 6 that is uh, without means we have to open it not a uh, short okay without voltmeter means we have to remove it then 6 plus 2 is 8 ohms 8 ohms is the impedance offered by the circuit to the source without the meter now meter is connected case 2 meter is connected meter is made up of uh, some i can say elements meter is made up of some elements it is also going to have some finite amount of resistance yes it is going to have some finite amount of resistance imagine imagine the meter what you made the meter what you made is having internal resistance of uh, yes r internal resistance of the meter is equal to meter is equal to 6 ohms 6 ohms now tell me what is the yes now tell me what is the impedance offered by the circuit to the source by the circuit to the source this is uh, 6 ohms now this is the meter resistance okay i am putting in dots i am putting in dots so this is the resistance offered by the meter meter i am replacing with the ohms now this is our actual r2 this is our our actual r2 this is r1 that is equal to 2 ohms and this is a uh, 8 volts now this is the meter see what is the purpose of the meter what is the purpose of the meter to measure the voltage across r2 to measure the voltage across r2 now you tell me what is the impedance seen by this source uh, 
by this source. How much it is? Uh, 6 in parallel with 6. Uh, now, R is equal to, R is equal to, yes, uh, 6 in parallel with 6 is 3. 3 plus 2 is how much? 5 ohms. Yes, 5 ohms. How much will be the current? Yeah, let's calculate the currents previously without this meter, okay? Uh, I'll draw one more diagram. I'll draw one more diagram, yes. Or, uh, yeah, I'll draw a diagram here without a meter. This is the circuit what I've taken. This is the circuit what I've taken, yes. This is 8 volts. This is uh, 2 ohms. This is uh, 6 ohms. We name it as R2. We name it as uh, R1. Now, how much is the current that is flowing in this circuit? That is uh, 1 ampere. The current that is flowing in the circuit is 1 ampere. Then how much is the voltage that is going to drop here? 6 volts. If this is 8 volts, this is 6 volts. Obviously, this will be 2 volts. Or 1 ampere current is flowing. 2 into 1 will be 2 volts. This is plus minus 2 volts. Actually, what is the answer we are expecting? This 6 volts I have to get. What is our question? What is the voltage across this resistance? It is 6 volts. If you calculate, if you measure, it must be same. But... For the purpose of measurement, I introduced a meter into the circuit. That meter is altering the entire circuit condition. What it is doing? Let's calculate. Now, how much is the current that is flowing? 6 in parallel with 6 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. How much is the current that is flowing in this one? In this circuit. How much is the current that is flowing in this circuit? Ma? 8 is voltage. 5 is a impedance or resistance 8 by 5 amperes. Now, how much is the voltage across this R1? Vr1 is equal to how much? Ma? 8 by 5 is the current into 2. 16 by 5 volts it is. How much is uh, the voltage without meter? Without meter it is 2 volts. But with meter, how much you are going to get? Uh, yes, how much we got? How much we got? Uh, 16 by 5. Is it equal to 2? No. Yes. Is it equal to 2 volts? No. It is increased. It is increased. Yes. Current got increased. You see, current got increased. What is the current? What is the current without this meter? 1 ampere. 8 volts. 2 plus 6. 8. 8 by 8 is 1 ampere. But as you introduce a meter, current got changed. V1 got changed. Vr1. Now, what is Vr2? Vr2 is equal to 8 by 5 is the current in this one. As these two resistance are equal, how much is the current that is flowing in R2? How much is the current that is flowing in R2? 8 by 10. 8 by 10 into resistance is 6. That is 0.8 into 6. 4.8 volts. 4.8 volts. Without meter, without meter, see, I'll write here. This is Vr2 is without meter. Without a voltmeter. Without voltmeter, I calculated it. See, on paper, I calculated, I got 6 volts. I am expecting the same 6 volts if I connect a meter. But uh, am I getting that? Am I getting that? I got 4.8 volts. I got 4.8 volts. Observe it carefully. Yes, without meter is correct or with meter is correct? Value without meter is correct. What is the purpose of meter to change the circuit condition or to measure the value what we want or for what the meter is designed? We want the meter to measure the value for which it is designed. I designed this particular voltmeter so that it is going to measure the voltage across this resistance or any DC voltage it is going to measure. But as soon as I introduced that meter into the circuit, entire circuit condition got changed this is called as loading effect as and when a meter is introduced into the circuit okay entire circuit condition will get altered because of that meter internal resistance which is called as loading effect load yes this meter is also acting as a load and it is drawing some current because it's having some resistance how much it is? 6. 6 in parallel with 6. Yeah, we calculated it. We calculated it. 6 in parallel with 6 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 8 by 5. And the current will be equally divided here. 8 by 10. 8 by 10 into 6 ohms will be, yes, sir. This is 0 0.8. 4.8 volts. Actual voltage should be 
six volts. But how much you're getting? Four point eight. Error is there. This meter is causing the error. Who is responsible for this one? Meter. Meter or meter internal resistance. The meter voltmeter internal resistance is the reason to get this wrong value. Our calculation is perfect, but see we introduced the meter into the circuit just to measure the voltage. But what it is doing? It is it is causing as extra load. Okay, so it is acting like an extra load, and it is also drawing some current due to which due to which entire circuit condition original circuit condition got changed. This effect is called as loading effect. Now, for not having loading effect, what shall we do, sir? This will be the next question by the interviewer. For not having loading effect, what shall we do? Now, you design a meter, voltmeter, in such a way that its internal resistance is infinite. Okay, its internal resistance is infinite. We are going to see. We are going to see. Observe here. Now, same circuit, same circuit. Yes, this is two ohms. This is six ohms. 8 volts 2 ohms 6 ohms this is r2 this is a r1 now i designed a meter whose internal resistance is infinite yes this belongs to meter now tell me how much is 6 in parallel with infinite many people will commit a mistake here okay 6 in parallel with infinite some people will give the answer as infinite in uh, in hurry okay just see here 6 into infinite by 6 plus infinite take infinite common in the denominator or instead of infinite you take it as x put the limit x tends to infinite okay actually we should not do this way uh, we have to take uh, infinite as x and calculate it in the last we have to put x tends to infinity but i am doing it directly 6 by infinite plus 1 these two got cancelled this is 0 how much it is 6 ohms now what is the impedance seen by the source with the meter with the meter how much it is uh, six in parallel with infinite is uh, six only six plus two is eight the current is one ampere yes now this voltage is uh, two volts how much is the current in this one zero amperes this one ampere will flow in this one how much is the voltage across this uh, six ohms six volts yes or not yes very much yes so if you design a voltmeter whose internal resistance is equal to infinite then it is not going to cause any loading effect if it is an ammeter we are introducing ammeter in series that ammeter should not cause or should not alter the circuit condition in series resistance of the ammeter should be equal to zero yes in parallel resistance of the voltmeter should be equal to infinite so that uh, circuit condition will not be altered in series the resistance of the ammeter should be equal to zero ammeter we connect in series only resistance should be equal to zero then it will not cause any loading effect now the question asked by the interviewer is this one as you said yes uh, take uh, infinite ohms instead of taking infinite ohms keep it open circuit if it is open circuit does the meter will work no why because for the meter to work See, infinite amount of resistance is possible only with open circuit, practically speaking. Okay, only open circuit is going to have inter uh, internal resistance of infinite. Okay, or resistance of infinite. So, this is the circuit what we taken. This is the resistance R1, this is the resistance R2. Yes, this is 8 volts and this is R1 that is equal to 2 ohms and this is R2 that is equal to 6 ohms. Now, I am keeping a meter whose uh, internal resistance is infinite means I have to open it. If you open circuit it, yes, for any meter to work, it must draw some small amount of current at least uh, to, to produce the deflection of the pointer. Otherwise, it will not work. Practically, is it possible to get infinite amount of resistance? Yes, with open circuit. But if I open it, the meter is opened. How much is the current that is flowing in this one? Zero amperes. Meter will not show any deflection. See, you see how many controversies are here. If uh, the meter and internal resistance is infinite, then only it will not cause loading effect. It will not create any problem in the circuit. Okay, agreed. Then what we have to do? We have to design a meter whose internal resistance is infinite. Internal resistance infinite possibility is possible only with the open circuit. If you open circuit, how much is the current that is flowing in the meter? Zero. If current flowing in the meter is zero, is there any deflection that is possible produced by the meter? No. Then meter will not work. Then what to do? So 
scientist given an answer for this question here that is uh, you design voltmeter to have very high resistance instead of infinite infinite resistance is not possible or possible with open circuit many people says that sir infinite is not possible resistance infinite is possible with open circuit but if you open circuit it infinite is possible but problem is uh, meter will not work uh, because current flowing through the meter is zero so to avoid this problem you design a meter in such a way that it is going to draw very small amount of current and its internal resistance is very 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 high then loading effect will be reduced i won't say loading effect is completely eliminated but its significance or loading effect loading effect will be very very small so voltmeter internal resistance should be as high as possible and you have to design voltmeter to have a very good sensitivity what does it mean by sensitivity even for the small amount of current flow also in the meter it must it must deflect the pointer it must produce a force such a way that the pointer is going to deflect to show the reading so the conclusion points are here the conclusion points are here yes yes design design a voltmeter a voltmeter with internal resistance with very high yes with very high internal resistance with very high internal resistance or meter resistance uh, we will see we will see 6 ohms in parallel with 10 to the power of 6 6 ohms in parallel with 10 to the power of 6 how much it will be see suppose i design my voltmeter uh, to have internal resistance of 10 to the power of 6 uh, let's calculate it how much it is 6 into 10 to the power of 6 by 6 plus 10 to the power of uh, 6 see 10 to the power of 6 plus 6 uh, almost can be written as 10 to the power of 6 only almost so this 10 to the power of 6 10 to the power of 6 gone approximately you got it as yes 6 only yes and uh, here one more important point about ammeter we have to design ammeter in such a way that its internal resistance is very 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 low so is it possible to have zero internal resistance not possible infinite internal resistance is possible but not uh, recommended why because uh, meter will not work zero internal resistance for ammeter is not possible design ammeter yes let me write that also design an ammeter an ammeter with very low very low internal resistance here condition is to to reduce loading effect or to avoid loading effect yes or or to reduce the effect of loading effect so this is about loading effect see when you are choosing a meter you must be very careful see if the meter resistance and the load impedance resistance both are equal gone there is there will be huge error in the reading the meter old meter particularly you have to choose in such a way that its internal resistance is far high when compared to the load resistance across which you are connecting that meter okay and the ammeter you are choosing must have very low resistance when compared to the load resistance in which you want to measure the flow of current so these are the beautiful conclusions. Thank you.